Good morning, friends. I'm Reverend Carla Leitner, the Senior Associate Minister at Unity San Diego. How are you this morning, December 14th, 2021? Wow. It's supposed to be super rainy here. Uh, it hasn't started yet, but it's supposed to pour and be like crazy weather. So we're working from home today. So I'm in the princess bedroom which uh, I have share a little desk with my daughter Eliana here. So um, that's why we have such colorful things behind me and girl boss in the back. Uh, wonderful to see you today. Today we're talking about giving. As I give, so do I receive. You know that song, as I give, so do I receive. I love that song. And you know what? The Daily Word today says, as I give, I gain. But I also would like to say, as I give and receive, I'm blessed. I'm blessed as we do both. Because it's that circle, that everlasting circle that of giving and receiving, coming and going, love just moving around, blessings and love. And I love that. You know, it talks about being energized when we give gifts. And I think many times it's easy to give. It's easy to give, but it's not so easy to receive. Oh, here comes my doggie coming in. Come on, Cookie. So there you go. She came to join the prayer this morning. So it's easy to feel energized. It's easy to feel good when we give. Not so easy when we receive sometimes. And you know what that has to do with? That has to do with allowing and feeling worthy to receive. Has someone ever given you a compliment and you've said, oh, no, it's nothing. It's okay. That's not a big deal. Or, you know, I didn't, uh, it's, I don't need it. When someone tries to give us something. You know, I, I remember that when my kids were small, I did a par parent partici participation preschool. And in that, they said, when a kid gives you something, when your child gives you something, even if you don't even know what it is, like if they're scribbling a picture, just graciously accept it. And I remember a time when I gave something to my mom and we had just become uh, wit public witnesses and we didn't celebrate anything. And I said, here, I'm giving you this to you for Mother's Day. And it was a beautiful little tiny vase I had gotten at a yard sale down the street. I think it was about five, it must have been about six years old. And I went to hand it to her and she said, oh, I don't want it. We don't celebrate Mother's Day. And I smashed it and then cut up my hand. Um, and, and that's a memory that I didn't want to ever have, you know, and um of course, I have it, and, but it makes me uh, look at things and, and just realize how important it is to give, but also how important it is to receive. How important for me as going within and knowing that I'm worthy, but also for the giver. The giver, aren't you happy when somebody, you give them a gift and they love it? And you're like, oh, wow, I'm so happy you like what I gave you. It's so fulfilling to the person doing the giving when we accept, graciously accept what's given. Daily word today is from 2 Corinthians 9, verse 7. Each of you must give as you have made up your mind, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheer cheerful giver. And I say God also loves a cheerful receiver. Not sure if that's... A I know that's not added in there, but that's part of my part there. Cheerful giver and also a cheerful receiver. So like we tithe where we're spiritually fed. So we get something and it's okay. It's okay to give. It's okay to receive. There's so many ways. And I think about where I tithe my time, my talent, and my treasure. So volunteering or being a sacred server is also a way to give and then also we receive i remember when i first started in the youth ministry at unity san diego in 2002 i didn't know anything about unity 
I um, started because in the youth ministry, of course, because we had just adopted or just gotten custody of uh, Matthew and Jacob. And so I learned so much, so much about unity from the youth ministry, just so much. So I gave of my time, but I cannot tell you that what I received back was so much more than what I gave. I received so much in learning, in friendship, in love. I just, it was just so worth it. And it is still so worth it. And also I need to know that I need to give to myself. Other people can give to me, I graciously accept. But I also need to give myself time to renew, time to relax, time to just do some self-care. And maybe I want a present and I buy it for myself. It's okay. Part of that giving to myself can also be saying no. No, I'm sorry, I can't do this right now. No, I'm sorry, I need to spend some time with me. So there's so many ways that we can give and receive. We can give by listening, just listening to somebody. We can give a smile. We can give so much and we can receive so much. So let's take some time, friends, to just wiggle out here. And I have my meditation dog on my lap here and she'll meditate with me. And let's take some time to just relax. Breathe in. And let go. Breathe in again. Just release that. Just knowing that anytime we are together, anytime we come to the sacred space of prayer and meditation, that we are in a safe and sacred space, no matter where we are. When we come together, it is sacred. And so I invite you, friends, to set aside anything you're holding in your laps, in your consciousness. Just let it go. Oh, and just relax as you silently allow the words that I speak to become the words of your heart. Sometimes I give, I give, I give. At this holiday season, I'm picking up so many gifts for so many people. When I give, it feels good. It feels good to give. But what about receiving? Am I open and willing to receive? Sometimes I feel like, oh, I don't know what I want. It's okay. I don't need anything. I do it. We've all done that. Let's take this time now, friends, to open up our awareness and open up ourselves, knowing that we are perfect and whole just where we are. We are worthy. We are worthy to receive. We are glad and happy to give, but we are also glad and happy to receive, knowing that I am worthy. I am worthy. I am worthy to receive. I am worthy to give myself the time and the gift of self-care, to give myself the opportunity in this busy holiday season to say, thank you, but no thank you. I need some little time. So we take this time and it's so easy to overburden ourselves with many things to do, with running here, running there. We take ourselves the gift of love. We give love and we give and we accept love. We give our time and we accept time back to ourselves as we need to become centered and take this time to focus on, I give and I receive. I am blessed as I give and receive. I am blessed as I give and receive in the silence.
I am open. I am open to give and to receive. And I take the time each day to speak and listen to the God of my understanding as I allow myself that time, that time to in the silence each and every day. And I allow myself to take the time I need to stop, to regroup, and to become centered. And I give. I give from my heart. I give of my time. I give of my talent. And I give of my treasure. As we know the great work that we do here in spreading the love of God, the love of the God of our understanding, of that oneness of all, of that peace, of that love, of that joy in unity, we say thank you. Thank you, thank you, God. And so it is. And so it will be. Amen. Let's take a breath in. Just let that go. Wiggle out and open your eyes as you feel moved to do so. Knowing you can always come into a sacred space. You can always center with your God at any time. Go to spirit. Take a breath. Just regroup and center. I love that. I love to give. I love to receive. And I hope you have a very, very happy December 14th, 2021. Have a wonderful day, friends. Namaste. Bye-bye.